Okay, so I've got a short scalp on uh, cable. Five minutes after my previous video uploaded, saying I was how to uh, wait for a reversal, end of day reversal. So here's the trend. You can clearly see it in place there. High, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, and pull back. So we could start here, high, low, lower, high, lower, low, and pull back. And um, so we've actually got a swing trend in place. A couple of five minute um, confirm confirmations down. Low, high, high, low, high, 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 low, lower, high, lower, low, and break and close. And the same thing here before my entry. So we're lots and, and they're rare. This is what I mean. These reversals are rare. You know, when they happen, that's why I love them so much. So um, the histo alert as well. The 30 minute had closed red there. Then uh, it was green and uh, the current 30 minute is uh, crashing. <clears throat> H1 had closed red. Remember I always say highest time frame takes precedence. So in this instance you can use either or the 30 minute or the hourly. Just make sure the 15 minute uh, coincides with what uh, is going on and um, then the five minute obviously we drop below zero just before my entry the green candle was the green bar on the histo that's uh, pulled back and um, then the one minute we clearly broken there's the trend in place there broken down through the 20 level superb pullback and then uh, the entry when it broke through that's the bust, that's the pullback, that's the break and close. So, uh, you know, you've just got to study this histo alert for yourselves, guys. You don't really need loads and loads of other stuff, certainly not this, on a reversal situation because you can clearly see it's still saying cable is massively strong, or pound rather, and uh, the US dollar in this instance is uh, middle of the road. But that's why price action, this is to alert, trend analysis, and uh, you know the extreme um, average daily range, twice the average of the last four days, more than twice. So you just got to tick all the boxes, get your boxes, get all your ducks in a row, and uh, take the trade. Um, old resistance remember I talk about tests and retests old resistance being tested as new support h4 look at that it's tested it f five times there h1 isn't so uh, so much of a worry an old h1 high is going to go to the strongest uh, levels um, but these are things you learn with experience but here's the trend again swing one all of this is uh, swing two up to here because we didn't break swing one below so that's all swing two that's swing three that's swing four that's swing five okay uh, it's easier to do it on the line chart like i said earlier so um another trade another winner just learn i think this has got to be the most uh, uh, important indicator I've come across for years and years and years so add to that the uh, reversals like I said on the five minute they are massively important they happen so rarely I mean you wouldn't want to be taking this trade here based on what I've just talked about here because you haven't got the extreme average daily range but when you have and when you get these this is why I call this my end of day reversal trade it's now 1721 and it looks like the price is going to collapse even more and this is why I draw all my lines on because I've got clear gaps clear gaps there was a massive you know that's a superb gap just there but unfortunately if the candle just closed just down here 
and this looked right on the one minute I would have been in that but I couldn't because the candle didn't it doesn't always play to uh, you know uh, well as you know with price action it doesn't always do what you want it to do but you just got to learn how to uh, you've got to study do your chart time guys all right thanks for watching have a good evening